lot, a lot, a lot is up. We talking about a Rocky Mountain National Park vacation. We're talking about <clears throat> the utility trailer, the cargo trailer that I've been working on. A um, little bit of uh, fall football, which kind of rolls into COVID-19. So I might step on a couple of toes with COVID-19. Not gonna apologize for it right now. trailer coming along pretty well it is set up now ready to haul the motorcycle the almost two-year-old helped us with it he was actually helpful he was handing me nuts he was handing me bolts mm -hmm. putting him in the what do you call that bolt driver but what do you call that screwdriver no the thing that you the socket socket that's what like a wrench, but, like it when, matters. but when it's Nobody electric, cares. but when it's electric, no, they really care. No, I don't think <laughs> Go with me on this. So, like when it's electric, is it like a bolt driver? Or is it, I'm just curious. I just call it a screwdriver. Oh. Go on. Well, that's dumb. Okay, go ahead. It's a cordless screwdriver, like there's any screwdrivers with cords. Except you're not using it as a screwdriver, so that's. Uh, th those were screws. Technically, they're called screws. Oh, but it wasn't. So you've got a flathead, a Phillips, and a socket. Yeah. Which is, a socket is not a screwdriver. You know, you're really wasting these people's time. <laughs> <laughs> you are, because you're not giving me good answers. <laughs> I'd be perfectly happy with a good answer. Anyway, what were we saying? It's ready to haul the motorcycle. The next step is to put E-Track on the walls so we can haul the paddle boards and the yeah, mountain secure, bikes. Secure the bikes, yeah. Gotta figure out a creative way to secure the mountain bikes. I do not want them falling into the motorcycle. Um, and her dog fence. My dog fence? We need to figure out how we're going to haul that in the trailer and get it secured. And she just told me she wants me to build a stationary box area so that she can just throw miscellaneous ju her junk drawer. Not my junk. Like our daughter's going with us to Colorado and she could put the stro we can put the stroller in there. We could also put the water bottle in there and like her daughter's suitcases and stuff. So and I, and I don't mean a box. I'm talking about like just a fence, like a fenced area that we can put stuff behind. A box with no lid. Yeah. So you're talking no, about No, two-sided. No, I'm talking about a fence. <laughs> Two sides and it goes up against the side of the camera. Gun. I know, I saw that come up. It came up here. Oh, look, they're putting up my little... Anyway. Squirrel. <laughs> they have a Chevelle over there. I love Chevelles. So... What? I got we gotta order the uh, order the parts to finish out the trailer. It's not cheap. I think those E tracks were twenty bucks a piece and you figure I need need six of them overall, so now I think we're gonna head up to REI and get something else for the road trip. But this was supposed to be a short video, wasn't it? Turn it off. <laughs> Okay. One of the other preparations that we've made, wow, it's bright, it's dark, it's bright, it's dark. That's going to really mess with my editing. Hey, we're like flashing people. <laughs> Get it? Because we're like flashing the light. Can't hear her over the air conditioner, <laughs> can you? <laughs> um, so, so the cargo trailer, all that mess, 
prepping for our trip in August to Rocky Mountain National Park. One of our favorite places in on on the planet Earth is Rocky Mountain and National Park. And we've been park. to every place on the planet Earth. Everywhere. <laughs> this isn't Facebook. We can't lie. <laughs> We love Estes Park. A lot of people, you know, there's people that don't like Estes Park because what? it's a tourist it's a tourist trap. It really is. It doesn't feel like a tourist no, trap. No, it does it. It's not like it's Orlando just, or or Tennessee. Yeah, Ga it? Gatlinburg yeah, or Pigeon nothing, Forge, whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, it's nothing like that. Yeah, because there's I mean, not a lot of commercial actually, properties. Actually, it's a terrible there. place. Don't go because yeah. we don't want it to fill up. But anyway, I got online July 1st to... Uh, make our reservations because I mentioned in a previous video I'll try to put it like up in the corner of that video um, talked about reservations at Rocky Mountain National Park because of COVID-19 um, I got on there July 1st it was 11 o'clock in the morning Okie time which is 10 o'clock Colorado Mountain time got on there and reserved all nine days of our vacation for getting into the park between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. and it was painless I mean it really was it was like you know you go to recreation.gov and you do this and it was like you're shopping at Amazon you know I, I picked a day picked a time added it to cart went to another day picked a time and then added it to the to to the cart and then when I got done adding all those nine days, I just checked out and it was $2 a day. So it was 18 bucks for me to reserve a spot for us to go into the parks every morning between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. It was easy, simple. And, you know, I printed all that stuff out. I've got it ready so when we get there. So it won't work when we get there because <laughs> it, it was too simple to start it, with. I, I, it was painless. and. The, the downside of this is the personality that Terry and I are, we are pressured to go in. Hold on. It is like 99 degrees outside And we today, turned folks. off the air conditioner so Just you could hear you. us. Just for you. Do not leave your children or pets in a hot car, trust me. Or it's... wives. Okay, we've, the only thing we left out was... Okay, women, women make the rules. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was it was very easy. But the the thing, the downside. That's where I was. I couldn't remember where I was. She squirreled me away from that topic. The downside of this is we're gonna feel like we have to be, we we have to go I know it's terrible we have to go into a beautiful <laughs> national park <sighs> every morning of our vacation <sighs> at 8 a.m. it is horrible oh but yeah I mean we we do feel pressured to do that because we did take a reservation slot because there's only so many place. slots available so we have taken one slot for all nine days that we are there and if we don't use it that means that somebody else who wanted it didn't get to use it either so maybe I don't, we don't know that they're all filling up but yeah that's but, possible but it's, too. but it's possible we don't want to do that to so people. so we're going to go to the national park every morning of our vacation between 8 and 10 a.m and we're going to have fun you hear me smile <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Wow, what a night. This video is going to get way too long. <laughs> this is going to be one of our longest What's Up videos in a long time. Last night, when... July. Yeah. Not spring, but yeah, July. Yeah, this is what? July 12, 13, whatever it is. Wind speeds. Straight line winds. Up to... 90 miles an hour. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> we, here at the house, our big old monster oak tree that we trimmed up a few weeks ago. Thankfully. Our big old monster oak tree that we trimmed up a few weeks ago, like she said, thankfully. Standing tall. Didn't, you know, lost a little bitty, you know, leave, you know, some leaves and stuff. But nothing big happened there. Our neighbor behind us, he has a tree limb on top of his house. Does he? I didn't see that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, our next door neighbor, he has this pull apart tree. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's had it for years. I don't yeah. know how that thing has lived. <laughs> I didn't notice any major limbs down on it, but here's our big concern with those high winds. 
You know that trailer we've been telling you about? Yeah, we need to go take a look and see if it's still there. <laughs> Can you see us, or are we in the dark? We're always in the dark. dark. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we got lucky. It only moved about three foot back and come to rest against that car behind us. I say come to rest, there's no sign of impact. It just kind of- Like gently. Yeah, just kind of. Uh, unlike, you know, the black trailer over here that looks like totally got blown sideways and off you know the the tongue was up on some supports and it got blown off that and then just brought back around and there's a little bit of damage on coverings and yeah. a few things that are kind of obviously not quite where they were parked so we're going to drag this trailer back where it belongs and put the chocks back in underneath it and Go on about our day. Try again. <laughs> okay, we've drugged this out long enough. Let's get this wrapped up. <laughs> we got a neighbor that's keeping their dog in the garage, apparently. He doesn't like being held prisoner in the garage. <laughs> um, okay, most of you know. Wow, I'm, we should switch sides. Or I don't look so short now. <laughs> Most of you know we are college football fans. Specifically, you know, Oklahoma State. Showing your boobies. You've got problems. You gotta delete that. <laughs> um, football season is up in the air. Seriously up in the air right now. And I mean as a matter of fact, Oregon State canceled well, the Pac-12 canceled all non-conference games, so our home opener is not going to be Oregon State this year. Um, the second game is supposed to be Tulsa, I think, which could still happen if football happens, yeah. but I don't think football's yeah. gonna happen. Um, and and uh, honestly, as much as I hate to say it, um, I don't think football should happen. I, I don't think college football should happen. Unless something changes between now. Unless something changes between now and then. And really, and this is where I might step on some toes, but like I said at the beginning, I'm not going to apologize for this. Um, unless some of the tinfoil hat community starts wearing their masks. Um, they're the reason that this is dragging on so far. No, even if you think it's a hoax, wear it to make people around you more comfortable because yeah. there's immune compromised people and there's elderly people walking yeah. by you in the grocery store that don't think it's a hoax. So if you wear it, you're just you're gonna make them just feel more comfortable. I mean, it's, it's okay. But anyway, I just, I don't, I, I really don't think the football season's gonna happen and I don't think it should, but that's but, my, but we want it to. Oh, badly. <laughs> badly. Because we need it to. I mean, the the country needs stuff to start happening like that because we're all getting grumpy. Yeah. I mean, honestly, look around. Everybody's getting grumpy because of all this stuff. And because we'll get the national championship this year. And I can say that because we probably won't play. <laughs> anyway, on to happier topics something we've been doing oh. Woo, where'd i go where'd i go <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. wind's still blowing um <laughs> dummy <laughs> on the happier topic on the happier topic um you know we've spent the last couple of weeks getting stuff ready for the august colorado trip i mean since we've gotten back from arkansas we have been Get, getting things together. I mean, the cargo trailer is part of that, you know, it, it's for future trips too, but we wanted to get it done before the Colorado trip. Um, I bought a couple of parts for the motorcycle, some armrest for the queen's seat so that she's more comfortable. We bought a 
couple of water bladders for our backpacks for our hiking trips so that we don't have to carry 14 bottles of water with us. We've got our water bladders with us. Um, and just a bunch of, you know, we'll be getting a bunch of little stuff between now and then, just prepping for this vacation. Yep. It's We don't do it every trip, but every now and then there's a trip where it's just like, okay, we need this, this, and this, and this to make it more comfortable. And it's just fun. It's just part of fun part of getting ready for vacation. Yeah, prepping for the big trip. Yeah, it yeah, just kind of kind of reminds you. Oh, that's right. We're doing this because we're leaving. Yay! We're gonna have fun. Yay! <laughs> and it passes the time. I mean, oh my gosh, yeah. we got like five weeks until vacation. It's killing us right now. Yeah. Anyway, Terry was wondering. What was I wondering? You were wondering if these guys do this. If you know, oh, not yeah. so much full timers. I mean, full timers carry around their stuff with us all, with their right. all, them all yeah. the time. Yeah. Do you get like excited about vacation and start buying things that you don't necessarily need, but it would it would be really fun on vacation? You know, things for your hiking trip. I mean, like I got a, I got a we have like ten external battery. What are they called? Chargers. Not, yeah, banks. But battery banks, banks. That's what I was trying to think of. And but I found one that has a. Um, carabiner on it that I could put on my bike so I don't have to so if my battery is going down on my phone I don't have to strap it to my bike so that was exciting and that's like one of those crazy weird vacation prep things that was a lot of fun that probably don't need things to to help our dog fence a little bit to weight the little weight things that we've been going along just fine without them but I don't know it's just exciting do you guys do that do you guys get little things like that and just you know have fun with it, make it kind of more exciting leading up to, especially if you have kids too. I remember when we had kids, that, well, we still have kids, but I remember when the kids were little, <laughs> that that was a, little, a big fun part of it too. Yeah, it, and it's all part of our vacation budget. I mean, it's all money we've got set aside for the trip. Plus we can and, spread it out because we start this early. Yeah, yeah, and, and I mean, we even start, you know, like I said, we're like five weeks out from vacation, maybe a little bit closer than that. Uh, we even start buying groceries. We start buying food and stuff and stocking up, getting ready to trip for the trip, kind of spreading it out over yeah. time. One so, of our grocery trips. This one's for vacation. It just makes us happy. It just does. <laughs> <laughs> we done. This thing is drug on they long. Hope we're done. You guys hope we're done, right? Yeah, yeah it, it, it is drug on forever. It's been a long what's up. It's a lot happened this weekend. More happened than what we planned to happen. Yeah, but our tree is still standing. The trailer's still good. We helped out some neighbors with their fallen tree. Life is good. We'll catch y'all down the trail. Bye.